So you have a dog that has a stone in its urethra and you need to push it back in the bladder and you want to ensure that you are going to be successful. Well, when I had my mobile practice, I would just travel through southwestern Ontario and helping veterinarians with various surgeries. I got called on several occasions on emergency to do a urethrotomy in a dog because they had a urolith and the veterinarian was unable to flush the stone back. And so I would get to the hospital and you know, we're all a little bit stressed. This is an emergency. I just drove fast to get here. And I get there and the first thing I'm going to do is try to retropulse the stone. You, you really would like to avoid doing a urethrotomy if at all possible, the cystotomy is so much easier and they heal so well and complications from a cystotomy are so few as opposed to the urethrotomy. So I would get there and 98% of the time, I would get that stone flushed back into the bladder and I would get that done within the first three minutes of getting there. So I would clearly ask the veterinarians, what did you do? What did you use? How did you do it? So that I could learn to find out what, why was I successful? And the theme was pretty common. Most veterinarians go with a small catheter. And then as you push the saline in, it's just a nice little push because you don't want to fill that bladder. But the truth is that's not going to do anything to dislodge a stone. You need to assault the stone with a pile of saline to get it moved out of the urethra and back into the bladder. You know, don't think of a, a nice, calm little brook where the water is flowing down. None of the stones are going to move, but think of Niagara Falls. That will dislodge a stone, all right? So take a big catheter, the biggest one that you can comfortably fit in that patient. Make sure your patient is sedated. There's a lot of other things you need to account for as well, but if there's anything I've learned is you need to use a big catheter and you need to be ready to flush that stone back with a big bolus of saline, not a trickle of saline. So keep an eye on the bladder. Don't let it get too full. There's lots of things you need to think about, but go big with your catheter, go hard with your saline, that's the key. If it is an acute obstruction, there is no reason why it shouldn't move. It's the chronic ones that will give you a hard time. All right, so if it's an acute obstruction, get it back in the bladder and do your cystotomy.